Hi, I'm Vince West, and I am jumping into the Deformed Cartoon Group build, uh, previously known <laughs> as the Ming Tiger Group build. Papa Dan and, and Tommy have made life very difficult on me by opening this up and giving me way too many choices. This was the kit I had planned to build this year which is the Ming uh, Corsair. But, since it's been opened up so much, and I kept debating since I had so many of the things that qualified, I've kind of scrapped that one. So, this year, I'm going with Davy. Sorry, the voice comes from my childhood of Davy and Goliath. Um, but I'm going to build the Weirdos Davy. Uh, as you can see, it's the motorcyclist uh, car cartoon figure. And uh, it's one of the Weirdo series. Let's see, what's the other thing on here? This is the rest of these. And here's Davy here, also in an actual build-up, but he doesn't have his teeth in, so you try and figure that one out. Anyway, um, the box art does differ from what's actually in the kit. I mean, this is a drawing, you know, done years ago, <clears throat> but uh, like the fangs are no longer there. It's more like broken teeth. Uh, well, sharp t upper teeth, no bottoms. And I opened this yesterday just to look through the kit. And I, so far of, of what I found, everything seems to fit together well. I haven't found any seam issues or anything like that, but I do have a question that maybe somebody can answer. What's that? That long square piece right there. I have no idea what that's supposed to be on the base. It's just, uh, I don't know if it's supposed to be the curb or what it's supposed to be, but I don't know. I think that's going to be one of my modifications, uh, is to get rid of that. I don't know. It just looks silly to me. Um, so I was looking through the instructions, which is basically both sides of an 8x10 more or less done in a cartoon uh, form. And I started to jot down a couple of notes about uh, changes I'll probably make, like adding a buckle for his... Uh, motorcycle jacket, um, uh, some of the other things show, oh, well, he's, on the cover art, he's got a little badge that says Lone Wolf, so I'm thinking maybe I might have to put that somewhere. Um, I want to make up some bottom front teeth, because as you can see here, he just has this ragged teeth that goes across the front. Uh, nothing in the bottom, but I'll have to look at that. Not sure what I'm going to do with the sign, because um, of course in the cover they, it says too much, and on the back of the instructions it says way out. So I'm not sure what I'm doing there yet, and um, also shaving off that curb. Otherwise, it'll probably be pretty much straight out of the box. Um, I intend to hand paint this as I would have if I was a child or when I was a child um, in my ute. I'm thinking about a couple of other additions and we'll see how have to see how things go. But that's my entry right there in that box. Hopefully at some point I'll get it started. <laughs> I haven't been pulling down a lot of bench time lately, so Maybe this will get me back down here, just as the weather starts to cool outside. 
uh, we're, we've dropped from the hundreds down into the 80s and now it's raining a lot that's what I got that's what I'm doing uh, thanks for watching and we'll talk to you later bye bye thank you for watching Vincent Weston models phone the dungeon